Vegan activist throws family's fish back into the water. Last Friday, vegan Florida activist group Direct Action Everywhere took it upon themselves to disrupt a family's fishing trip. Initially, they sent this kid up to ask the Hope family to stop fishing because it was hurting the fish. Arguments ensued, and the end result, in this video filmed by the activists, shows one of them grabbing the fish and then throwing it back in the lake. In other footage filmed by the family, we see the argument escalate further. The activists shout at the family, surround them, and begin chanting, It's not food, it's violence! It's not food, it's violence! Among other things. FYI, that family's got a one-year-old with them. The cops later arrived but didn't arrest anyone. In a statement, the police said that any group has a right to free speech in a public park. This is true, but from what we've seen, the protesters appear more intimidating and confrontational than anything else. And that's not very vegan now, is it? And that wasn't direct action everywhere's first outrage rodeo. Earlier last week, that also protested at a Florida Chick-fil-A dressed as chicken and cows. Why? They said it was specious to use Cow Appreciation Day to give away chicken bodies. Uh, right. Makes total sense. They claim to be non-violent and peaceful in their protests, but when you confront and shout down people in public places, aggro will follow. Oh, and BT dubs, remember that fish they threw back in the lake? Well, it was an invasive tilapia. Those fish are not native to the USA and are basically swimming wrecking balls to the fragile local ecosystems. So nice work saving the planet there, vegans. Yeah, nice work indeed. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Stay tuned for more stories on all things vegan. When you gotta go, you gotta go. A vegan restaurant in Memphis, Tennessee has become internet famous, not for their meatless grub, but for allowing children to run naked around the premises. At least, this is according to a patron who left a two-star review of the establishment on Google last week. That's still pretty generous in our opinion, considering the reviewer is also accusing the children of pooping right on the restaurant floor. According to the review, a naked baby was running around and exposing her butthole to customers, while another was showing off her yodeling skills during the meal. Owners Adam and Christy Jeffrey confirmed that it was in fact their child who was streaking through the restaurant. However, they're on the defensive against the onslaught of reactions they've gotten from netizens, with Christy warning they've thoroughly irritated Mama Bear. Meanwhile, the couple has gotten hundreds of prank calls and negative comments on social media regarding the alleged incident. But the owners say they won't back down and are standing by their restaurant motto. If you can't do vegan, then don't come here. If you can't do children, don't come here. Shelby County Health Department inspectors investigated the restaurant on July 8th and found no violations, adding that children were not near the food prep or cooking areas. However, throughout all of this, the owners haven't actually denied the fact that their child pooped on the restaurant floor. So regardless of how things look during inspection, if what the Google reviewer says is true, that's just gross. New York chef pleads guilty to spanking it on the subway again. Once recognized as a renowned restaurateur in Manhattan, Dan Hoyt is now best known for being a shameless pervert. The 54-year-old chef gained acclaim for heading up Quintessence, a raw vegan restaurant he opened in New York's East Village back in 1999. Though he doesn't do meat, the chef has been busted for stroking the salami several times in public. Yikes! Hope he washes his hands! On January 12th, Chef Dan allegedly walked up to a woman on a subway platform and asked her if he could jack off to her. She wasn't into it, but he ran behind a pole and did it anyway. Apparently, Chef Dan has done this before, less than a couple weeks earlier on New Year's Day. He was standing on the very same subway platform and reportedly did the same deed to another woman. If that wasn't enough, when the woman was riding the subway the very next night, she noticed Chef Dan walking toward her, bottomless, terrorizing her again. There's just something about the subway, it seems. Chef Dan's very first offense was also on a subway platform in 1994, and then again in a highly publicized incident where he was caught rubbing one out in front of a young woman on a subway in 2005. She had the good sense to snap a photo before he ran off, which she then uploaded online. It landed Chef Dan on the cover of the New York Daily News. Not a good look. The creepy cook has been nabbed for his deplorable deeds six times now, and that's just counting his arrests. 
The charge has repeatedly been public lewdness, and his punishments have included probation, mandatory counseling, and a 75-day jail sentence for a 2008 incident in Brooklyn. For his latest offense, he's been sentenced to serve more jail time. He'll appear in court again in January to sort out his outstanding crimes. Damn, homie, keep the snake in your pants. YouTuber credits raw vegan diet for making her B.O. free. Hawaii-based Elise Brodigum routinely extols the virtues of veganism on her YouTube channel Raw Alignment, going so far as to claim a plant-based diet has made her considerably less stinky. The vlogger has not eaten meat, fish, dairy, or eggs for more than two years and stopped using deodorant a year ago after transitioning to an entirely raw food diet. She still sweats like a pig at the gym, but gives off a natural pheromone smell rather than foul body odor. Brodigam reasons it's the same reason as smoothie shops not giving off strong smells, unlike, say, pizza parlors or bakeries. So if you eat the flesh of a dead animal, best be prepared to have your pit smell like rotten salami. Bottom line, just give up meaty, creamy, rich, delicious foods, and you too can contribute less to air pollution. Happy veganing! Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News.